Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with our reptile zoo. And I'm going to start off by saying something very ironic. We are building a tropical zoo. And the moment I am building and doing this voiceover, there is about 20 to 40 centimeters snow outside. So um, it was a bit weird building this with looking out my window and seeing there's totally snow everywhere. Now, I will put a photo of what it looks like right now on screen now. So there you go. There will also be a handle in there to my Instagram. It's also in the description down below, same as all my other social media, so you can follow me there if you want to, of course. And um, let's get into the video now, actually, because I'm quite excited about this. I'm very proud of this habitat. Um, just honestly, I'm very proud of it. This is probably one of my prettiest habitats. And to be honest, it didn't even took me that long. I mean, I think I have about an hour and a half of footage, and that is me including, like, I, I, we built a bridge. Uh, that's including fiddling with the bridge, fiddling with roofings, and decided against it, you know. But we'll go in that when we actually get there. Right now, we all you need to know is we are building a peafowl habitat. And we started building on one, you know, we laid out the groundwork, we put in the habitat gates for the visitors so that the guests can actually enter the habitat. Because this habitat is actually along one of our main roads in the zoo. So, you know, it's kind of important that people can actually enter. But, you know, after that, we uh, are going to change a bit because I couldn't, in fact, get the habitat gate in there. So that's going to be quite fiddling because here I put it in and then um, it turned out it was on the wrong side. So I, I couldn't enter, I couldn't like place another path to there. So that was kind of annoying. But with a lot of fiddling, it eventually worked. And in a minute, you will see me having deleted all the actual uh, pathing. There you go, deleted the pathing. Are still continuing the path thing. We actually bought our P files already and they are on their way, which is very exciting because you know they're quite pretty animals. I used to have a, um, like one of those feathers of a P file. My brother got it for me in the zoo where a lot of P files were. So it's really weird because I know like the game it says P files, but I know them as peacocks. And I don't know what the difference is. Like is peacock English and P file American? I have no clue. If anyone knows, um, let me know in the comments down below because I have absolutely no clue. I just knew that in the beginning I wanted to do something with kind of an um, Indian architecture style and I tried that. It looked awful so I decided against it and instead we are going for this glass dome. Now I love my domes, I love my glass buildings, I love modern architecture and I feel like this is quite the nice mix between modern and um, you know, old fashioned because, you know, these windows are quite old, but then I feel like domes and glass roofs are always quite modern. That's probably just my take on it, but I, I just feel that. So I believe this is a good mix between modern and not modern. And I actually really like the way that it turns out. Also kind of rem reminded me of Jurassic Park. I don't know why, but whenever I build a building that is round and has a lot of uh, greenery on it, I just immediately think Jurassic Park and oh my gosh, what's wrong with my voice? What the heck, did you guys hear that? That was insane. Anyways, and now we are just deleting some of the uh, panels to make sure they're actually gateways so uh, guests can walk in and peafowls can walk in. I think I'm just gonna call them peacocks. That's that's easier to say for me, I, I literally don't know. Maybe they changed the name because, you know, peacock? I don't know. Who the hell knows? I, I'm sure know that I don't know. So right now we are adjusting the pathing just to make sure you know, it looks nice in here. We are adding this little exterior, kind of like a little plaza thing. You know, we're going to put some benches on there, just make it look nice. And actually along the um, outside borders of this habitat, there is the boat ride. So the boat ride is going past the peacock habitat and then it is going, you know, it's just going to be pretty beautiful because then you're in a boat you can actually see the peacocks and I, I love that. I feel like that's a really clever thing and we have these meandering pathways everywhere to make it look really, you know, um, playful. And I feel like that's quite nice because sometimes um, I'm quite neurotic and I like things to be straight and I like things to be perfect and I need to learn, you know, that's not always the most important thing in life. So meandering paths are quite good for that, even though there's still a very clear system in there. Again, that's not the point of the video today. We're not talking about me, we're talking about this habitat. Now here we are making a mixture of the leaves and the actual hay, you know, just because only hay. I know, uh, just it didn't, didn't feel it. 
And we are, at first we are using the aquatic stones and I wanted to build like this um, well, like shelter with stones. That didn't work out that well. You can see me trying it and I was like, yeah, this is just, it's not going to work, is it? And it wasn't. So what we end up doing, we are going to put some uh, boards, some planks. And we actually place those around. And we made a very cute shelter out of that. And I know we have a shelter inside a shelter. But that's fine. I mean, like, it's it's my zoo. I can decide what I want to do and what I want to do it. Now, I've read last week's comments. Thank you guys very much. Really, you know, it cheered me up. Quite happy with that. Uh, I saw the suggestions for the animals. I'm looking into that. I am making some designs. Um, like, I usually pre-record. Well, not don't really pre-record, but I pre-build. Because, you know, when I have time, um, I don't have a lot of time. So when I do have like an afternoon or an evening, I just sit on my computer and uh, build because apparently I have nothing better to do in the weekends. And I just build. And that's basically what I do. And then I, just, then I look at the YouTube comments and I'm like, oh, did people suggest animals? And if they do, I build them. And if they didn't yet, I just decide for myself. And, you know, when I was building this, the last video wasn't up yet. So, but now I've seen the comments and I'm working on the animals that are suggested. Just, they're... Coming soon, hopefully. Very soon, I promise. I was also looking into some new games, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily want to branch out because I feel like Planet Zoo is doing actually rather good on my channel. Better than some other games. But I have been getting some Steam suggestions and I really enjoy that. And they uh, suggested Prehistoric Kingdom. Now, I don't exactly know when that's coming out, somewhere in 2021. But when it does, um, be prepared to see that on my channel because apparently you can build like a zoo with dinosaurs, something like that. And I am totally up for that. I mean, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, favorite. And ba I just love dinosaurs. So, you know, that that's it. I love dinosaurs and anything that has to do with dinosaurs, it's my game. I do have um, Jurassic World Evolution. Um, it didn't run very good on my computer, my, my old computer. On this computer, it probably does, but then I discovered Planet Zoo. So I'm now totally into Planet Zoo. I'm sorry, Jurassic Park Evolution. I'm sorry. And that, that's a true I'm sorry, because, you know, I believe the game could be very fun. Anyways, okay, look, look, guys, look what I'm doing here. I'm very proud of this. We use the aquatic rocks and make them, like, grayish and with a black accent. And now we are placing some uh, trees in there. And we are going to put some lovely bushes and plants in there. And this time we weren't filtering by biome. So you get a really great mixture of plants. And I am so pleased with the way it turned out. I feel like it actually looks good. Same with the elephant grass as we're using here. It looks so nice. And we are using this all over the habitat, this technique. And I am actually so happy with it. And I didn't even put all of it in the video, um, because I know the video is already quite long, so I didn't want to put every single bit in there. But I do feel like it's a really good technique, and I don't actually see, see a lot of um, YouTubers or streamers doing that. So I feel like I'm quite new to that. So um, I'm going to call this technique the NIM. <laughs> Please don't. I just, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't call it that. <laughs> and, you know, it's basically just placing rocks down and then um, making them look nice with scenery. And that that's it. Very boring, very blunt, bluntly said. But it actually works. I mean, right now it looks pretty bad. You're like, oh, some white rocks. But then we're adding plants to that. And it looks so much more natural because in real life you would never just see a bare rock. It always has some kind of foliage around it, at least where I'm from. And I quite like it. And even though like we are not filtering by biome, we are using primarily um, tropical plants anyways. Because, you know, they fit in with the entire surroundings. And some desert things because those yellow uh, bushes with more green bushes with yellow flowers. They look so cute. And I really enjoy it. Also, I'm looking outside right now and there's literally a blizzard. Or a flurry. Looks really nice. I already went outside and I made like a lot of pictures, which is good because now like it's like, I don't know, like four o'clock in the afternoon and it's like really, really snowing. Like, I feel like uh, the schools are finally uh, reopening tomorrow, which is good because then I can finally get back to my work. Um, but now we're probably gonna have a snow day. But I don't know what to feel about that because, you know, I, I love teaching. Oh well, again, I'm totally going off topic, but you guys are already used, well, like, you're used to that. If there is a video I can stay completely on topic, it's very rare. And I used to, you know, like, 
put in some efforts to make sure that I stayed on topic. And I just, I can't anymore. Like I physically can't talk about me placing rocks for 20 minutes. Now, obviously this video is not just me placing rocks. Primarily it is because I feel like it's really awesome and it's a really good technique. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And that's probably very noticeable because, you know, I noticed it myself, I can't shut up about it. But look at how pretty it is with all the different kind of flowers. It looks so good and I kind of wish that I did this across the entire zoo. But oh well. That's fine, like we can nice it up in the end, so. This peacock habitat, um, it's probably one of my best habitats so far. Like, color-wise, it's not a lot of excitement, no, like, crazy builds or anything. I mean, you have, like, the glass dome, but that's about it, like, excitement-wise. But I am very happy with the way it turned out, and you have seen it in the cinematics. And in the end, there will be more cinematics, and you will see it even more clearer. There is a lot of foliage and landscaping and rock work in this, you know, habitat. It's insane. And I cut, I believe I cut most of it out with the bridge because that took me so long. But the bridge is really architectural, really sound. And I'm really quite happy with that. And we have multiple water areas. Now, the peacock zones go over the water, luckily, so they can't escape. So the water is a natural barrier. And you all know me, I love my natural barriers. I just, I adore them. And then we have this little, I don't know, like puddles or ponds in the habitat themselves where they can actually go in and bathe and drink water, you know, stuff like that. And I'm really quite happy with it. Now we are waiting for our PFAS to actually arrive so I can see if they need everything and just going around to see if it, you know, it's solid. Then we painted everything green and then, you know, I did some accent working on the pathways, some mud, some rocks, because I promised myself that I would do more with terrain. And look, I actually remembered and I did that. And that's, um, that's quite impressive because usually I forget terrain work. <laughs> But this time I didn't, and I'm quite happy with it. There you go, and I believe we are now heading over, yes, to the, you know, making sure the animals can't escape. Which is a very big deal, because you don't want your peafowls escape, peacocks escaping, because even though they're not dangerous animals, the guests still freak out, because like, oh no, an animal has escaped, and I'm like, relax, it's, it's like a bird. It doesn't do anything. Chill. <laughs> but these guests in Planet Zoo, they're, they're quite um, panicky. Now, I put this entire section in because, you know, um, I love the way that I did the foliage work. And, you know, maybe it could inspire some people. Maybe they were like, oh, I don't know how to do good foliage. Well, look at me. I'm, I'm basically calling myself the foliage queen right now. Can we make that an official title? <laughs> Let's hope I can. I don't, I don't know. I used to be the queen of clutter in The Sims 4, so, you know, let's uh, invent a Planet Zoo queen title for me as well. I actually like the queen of foliage. And landscaping. I'll do landscaping. So, you know, if you're not exactly sure how to do that, um, watch my videos. There's a lot of landscaping in there. If you have questions, ask me in the comments. I always answer. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. You know, I like answering to people. I like talking to people. Which I feel like is always a quite obvious point because I can never shut up in any of my videos. So, I love talking. And that's a gift and a curse. Like the positive side is I always break silences, you know, and I'm really fun at parties because I can talk to anyone. Downside is um, I talk to anyone and therefore my friends sometimes get annoyed because they can never get rid of people. Oh well. Ah uh, yes, and here we are making sure the other... Uh, I didn't want to do the other section of the bridge, you know, the, or like the pathway, the exact same. So you are using our rock work that we have prepared in episode one. You know, we copy and paste that all around the zoo just to make sure it actually looks nice. And then we are nicening up that as well, making sure, you know, with the plants, like I explained in the last video, rotating them to make sure they look fuller. And I really quite like that the way it turns out. I mean, I'm, I'm quite proud of that and I'm quite happy with it. And that's quite rare because I'm really critical, but this, this habitat, I have a feeling that's going to be a habitat that I'm going to stay proud of. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm surprised to be honest. Ah uh, yes, here we are working on the bridge. So we are building the bridge out of these, um, I believe they're East Asia, Asian pillars. I'm not quite sure, but I believe it was. And what I'm going to show you here is me building the base. 
and then basically the base is just going to get copy and paste over to the other sites. So I, I cut that out and then there's a little bit of me placing some beams to make sure it's structurally correct and that's about it. And I was thinking of putting glass in there, but I decided against that. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to put the glass in there because, well, to be honest, none of the glass panels actually fit it nice and you would overlap, see overlaps and I don't really enjoy that. So we put um, no glass in there because, you know, it's a tropical biome anyway. And we put these beams in there and on one point when we start doing the light lighting of the entire zoo, we are going to hang some lanterns of somewhat on there. I've read the ideas about the uh, actual lights, lightning, lightning ideas. Is that pronounced correctly? I don't know. And I'm surely going to remember that because I really enjoyed that. And here we are making sure that the other exit or entrance to the habitat is looking nice because I, for a moment, I forgot we had two ex ent ent entrances and exits. Wow. English is not on my good side. Like this entire week already, like what's my problem? I have no clue. <laughs> wow. And again, these big plants, I, I don't even know what's their name, like the very big leafy plants. They look so nice. They're like my favorite plants to use. And I'm quite happy with it. And usually when I'm like this far in a, in a zoo, we're on episode 12, I believe this is 12 or 13. I can check. Let me check. This is episode 12. Uh, usually I'm already thinking about, you know, other zoos and things that I can do after this. And naturally I am thinking about that, but not as much as I think. Because usually my zoos are about done now. And this zoo is far from being done. I mean, this is an enormous zoo. I'm literally going to fill up the entire map. And I feel like if I keep doing habitats like this, it's going to be an amazing zoo. And I can already look forward to the actual zoo tour, which obviously I'm going to do once it's completely finished. And after that, we are going to start our new zoo. And I have no clue what I want to do. It all depends on when I finish this zoo. I mean, knowing me, I'd probably finish this zoo well, earliest, I think somewhere around July, August, something like that. But maybe in the meantime, you know, I want to do something else. Well, like, we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated anyway. You know, for really important messages, you can always uh, go to my Twitter and follow me there. That's linked in the description down below. Uh, I can just appreciate the way that this foliage just blends in. Also with the dead tree on there, it's just uh, with the gate and the habitat gate in there, or the habitat door. I feel like it looks really, really nice. And I'm really quite happy with it. I'm so proud of myself. That's so weird to say, but I'm actually, you know, I'm feeling proud. I mean, during this entire, like, two months of quarantine, um, I haven't really done anything that's important. And not to say that Planet Zoo is the most important thing in my life, but, you know, it is kind of like the highlight of doing things in my life at the moment so and I'm, I'm just really happy it worked out that good same he here with this archway that we're using I'm quite happy with it with the with how it eventually turned out also man I'm stuttering like crazy it's insane I'm terribly sorry so here again, you know, using the foliage and I think it looks so pretty and so nice and I'm so proud of it and that's like all I can say, I really enjoy the way that it looks. It is really nice. And I'm really happy with it. And I'm gonna keep saying that, but I love the way that I didn't just filter on, you know, one type of biome, even though the tropical biome is the primarily, and I don't use any other like big trees for other biomes, like small plants and flowers, which I feel like is very natural. Because when I go to a zoo, you have other things like we have a lot of uh, tropical animals here that don't you know originally are from here because i don't live in a tropical country but we do have the tropical plants so it was like you know what peafowls you know they're from india but they're also in america and in europe so let's give them something european as well and i feel like it mixes really really good and it blends in really good as well and i'm really happy with it anyways guys we are about you know what would it be like a few seconds away from the rest of the cinematics? So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this habitat as much as I enjoyed building it. 
And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It really does help me out. It helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps my channel grow and be more noticeable. And that's something that I really want to achieve. So if you guys are willing to help me with that, thank you guys very much. So with no further ado, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the cinematics. And I wish you a very good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever it is you are. Bye, guys. <laughs> 